uh, we see a volume change here for sure between 3.5 and 1.35. So we know that it has to use the combined gas law or any one of those that you'd want to. Say like the uh, uh, Boyle's law, Charles law, any variant of that that you want. So let's make our little table. P, B, N, and T. Stage one and stage two. Now, initially we have 1.68 atmospheres, and we don't know the final one. The initial volume is 3.5, and it goes to 1.35. 1 it doesn't give us anything about the moles. It does say the temperature is constant, so we're going to ignore those two. So really this is going to go into what looks like Boyle's Law. That P1, V1 equals P2, V2. And now, you might be wondering about the units. You don't have to worry about the units as long as they're all consistent. So we have volume for all the volume answers. We're going to have atmospheres for all the pressure answers. So, 1.68 atmospheres times 3.5 liters equals... P2, that's what we want to know, uh, and a V2, 1.35. You solve for P2, and that's 4.4 atmospheres. Now, let's see if this makes sense. As the volume goes down, we'd expect the pressure to go up because they're inversely proportional. You're squeezing the volume in, so there's going to be a higher pressure uh, expected. And we've got 4.4, which is a higher pressure. So that makes a lot of sense. So we did expect the final pressure to go up. We did get a final higher pressure, so we're good with this question. And that's a pretty typical uh, gas law sort of question. Let's try another one. Same sort of thing, slightly different question. Uh, we've got a gas collected at a certain temperature and volume. What will be its volume at standard temperature? So 25 degrees is room temperature, not standard temperature. Uh, so because of that, I know there's a temperature change. Since there's a temperature change, I'm going to use one of my new gas laws, not the ideal gas law. Let's try this. We have 1 and 2, P, B, N, and T. Let's see what we got available. Uh, there's nothing about moles, so I'm going to assume it's constant. We've got, uh, let's see, 2.85 liters. 2.85 liters, the temperature 25, I've got to change that to Kelvin, plus 273. And then, Standard temperature is 273, so I want to know the volume there, V2. V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Cockle doodle do! Okay, so 2.85 uh, divided by, that's going to be 298, equals V2 over 273. Again, as long as we're in consistent units, my volume is going to end up in liters again. So V2 is going to end up being uh, 